So listen, I made this YouTube channel for one reason, to explore every option of making money online. And at this moment, I believe there's no better way of going from zero to 10, 20, or $30,000 a month plus than creating an AI SaaS business. In fact, I've done this myself. I've got an AI implementation agency that creates AI SaaS applications for a variety of customers. And as someone who sees what clients want every single day, I thought I'd come here and give you eight AI SaaS ideas that you could start today by yourself. And the best part about all this is that you do not have to write a single line of code to do it. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what an AI business is, why I believe it's the best way to make money right now, how you can start doing this today, and you'll leave with eight different SaaS ideas and the tools you need to start them. So before we get into the ideas, let me explain to you why I believe that AI SaaS is the best business model right now, how you can get into it, and how it actually works. Imagine your business is this cake. The bottom layer of it is a SaaS. SaaS stands for Software as a Service, which essentially means it's software that's available on the internet via some sort of subscription model. So think Netflix, Zoom, that kind of thing. And the SaaS can come in different forms, generally an app, or a website. And I'm not talking your basic one page websites. These are complicated applications that do complex actions all of the time. So for example, Slack allows you to send messages back and forth and receive them. This is an example of a SaaS. Or Netflix allows you to stream video directly from your internet browser. Now this is essentially what a SaaS business would be and this is what we would be creating. However, they might not be this complex. They might be simpler, they might be smaller, or they might be just as big. It just depends on what idea you have. And before you say it's too complex, too technical, or wondering how you're meant to make one of these things by yourself, just bear with me. All will be clear very soon. So you have the first layer of the cake, the SaaS, the idea, the product itself that you're going to deliver. The second layer of the cake is AI. Now building and running a SaaS business on its own without AI is already a very good business model. But with the emergence of AI in 2023, it's a great way to take that SaaS application to the next level. The number of AI tools that I will release this year is absolutely incredible. And all of these have various functionalities that can all be used within our SaaS. Now our application and these AI tools link up via what's called APIs. They're essentially a secret backdoor on the internet for applications or different websites to speak to each other. And I will have to stress this, before you move further with this business model, you will need to learn APIs. Even if you're not using it, you have someone else creating it for you. Understanding how APIs work is a vital key to this whole system. And if you manage to conquer it, you will really take your application from good to great. I mean, imagine being able to create cool 3D AI models of yourself directly from your phone. Or have AI learn your writing style, your tone, and make it write tweets for you scheduled for a whole month. Well. This is what companies like Lenza and Tweet Hunter have managed to do using this business model directly. As a matter of fact, Tweet Hunter is a million plus dollars a year business that was created using AI, SaaS, and no code, which brings us perfectly onto our third layer of the cake. Now, no code software builders are the perfect way to run this off. The icing of the cake, you might say. Recently, they have become incredibly powerful and a very useful resource. My team and I personally use Bubble.io and BotPress as our two main no-code builders, but there are many others out there. Here's a list of a bunch of these no-code builders. I won't go through them all, so feel free to pause here, take a screenshot, and go through them in your own time. These are incredible resources that are not too difficult to learn, and there are loads of resources on YouTube. Just do a quick search, you'll see people making all kinds, Airbnb, Uber, even smaller applications. Uh, using these no code builders. And now you have all the pieces of the cake, you've got three options from here. Option number one, come up with a good idea, build the SaaS, market it, grow it, build a team, and make it into a full scale business. Option number two, you could sell micro SaaS or very specific SaaS applications or marketplaces like acquire.com and Flipper. Your third option is using these skills to provide a service. So you can go on Fiverr or Upwork and charge people for your services. Or if you don't want to use those platforms, you can do what I did and create an agency business that provides these services directly to businesses and you charge them a monthly fee. On that note, just before I get into the eight AI businesses, let me show you about our sponsor today. And our sponsor is my own company. It's called implementary.co. We are a no-code AI implementation agency, which means we bring your ideas to life. We cover everything from creating simple applications with or without AI. We provided our current clients with a whole range of different services, custom CRMs, dashboards, chatbots, but any other SaaS idea or business that you have, make sure you get in touch. We also do consulting where we strip down your business model and we can look to see where AI can come in to save either time or money throughout your whole business and we can implement all of this for you. So if you are interested, link is in the description 
enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, let's get into these ideas. And idea number one is a custom CRM. Every business in this day and age uses a lot of pieces of technology and applications. For example, in my agency, we use Slack and Notion for internal comms and knowledge base, a combination of Calendly and Google Calendar for scheduling and managing meetings. We use PayPal and Stripe for managing payments. For outreach or inbound messaging, we use Gmail, Twitter, or LinkedIn. And we use Brevo for email automation. Now that's 10 different applications that anyone in my team has to have open on their desktop every single time they're working. And I'm sure you can agree that it's a waste of time and a headache to have to flip through all the tabs, find what you're looking for in each one, and it can be time consuming and it's just impractical. This is where you would come in and implement your custom CRM. You'd make a single platform that puts all 10 of these into one single view so people don't have to jump from tab to tab to tab. The whole team can see messages regardless of what platform they're coming in from, from a customer or a client and reply to them directly from one single place. You can have your sales figures coming in from PayPal and Stripe and manage meetings, calls with potential or existing customers in one single view. And you'll notice a lot of businesses within a similar sector use very similar applications. So what you could do is package these five, six, seven applications into one CRM software that you sell to all the different businesses. Businesses want to be efficient and anything that can save them time or money, they will pay thousands a month. SaaS number two is what I call the product API. Now APIs seem more technical than they actually are and the average person would have a lot of trouble using an API to achieve you know whatever goal they would like. So what you would do is get the knowledge of the APIs, put a nice front end to it and connect the customer to the application using the API and they wouldn't even know. Let me give you an example. Jasper AI is an AI tool that uses GPT-4 to write all kinds of different copy for you. Now this business makes millions a year. They've made the process of logging into ChatGPT, trying to think of an effective prompt and hoping you get a good output. Very, very simple. By doing that for the customer in the back end and all the customer sees is a nice friendly UI that makes it very, very easy for them. They've just made an API into a product. To give you some perspective of how big this can be, Jasper AI is valued currently at $1.5 billion. And not only AI companies use APIs, the biggest companies in the world, YouTube, Twitter, Google, all provide APIs for you to use. So if you can think of a good way to prioritize that, you can make a lot, a lot of money. SaaS idea number three is a custom knowledge base chatbot. If you've worked for medium or large companies, even small size ones sometimes, you'll realize that trolling through all of their wiki their guidelines, their knowledge base is very inefficient. You find four or five versions of something people have made it in this year, last year, and you don't know which one is correct. With platforms like BotPress, what you can do is get a company's full knowledge base, get the up-to-date versions, upload them onto this chatbot, and you can train that chatbot to learn everything in this knowledge base and give you answers based on only that information. Now, your team member doesn't need to scroll through all these different pages to try and find the correct answer. They have a nice chatbot front end, which literally looks through the knowledge base for you and gives you the correct answer just like that. Let's say you're an accountant and use different forms to carry out different tax services. If your employee gets stuck or doesn't know which form to use, they ask the chatbot in normal human terms and it gives them exactly what to do in that scenario. Or let's say you're a tutoring company, upload the current curriculum, past exam papers, and you can ask your chatbot to create a quiz for your students to take today, maybe 10, 20 questions, and it will do that for you. This is the true power of AI at the moment. The opportunities are endless. SaaS idea number four is a content recommendation platform. I, as a content creator, have to go through a lengthy process to create one of these videos. I need to know what the audience wants at the moment, how other people are doing it in the space, whether my video is gonna be valuable, what title I should use, what description I should use, which thumbnails are working well, all of this kind of stuff can be packaged into a content recommendation platform. Since these are the questions that every creator is asking, why don't you create a platform that basically answers this for them? You could use something like Browse AI to scrape different YouTube channels to see what's working and what's not, what thumbnails are performing the best. Then you can use OpenAI or Claude to generate scripts or titles for you. You put this into a smoother looking UI or mobile application and you've got a winner in your hands. SaaS number five is a customer service chatbot. Now this is similar to number three, but instead of using it internally, this will be used for your customers. Instead of having the chatbot train on your internal knowledge base, you have a train on the answers that you want to give to your customers who go through the customer service process. This can always be tweaked to make sure your answer is always correct. And you can have the bot save every single time it doesn't know what to answer back. And this alone could be a service for clients. You can literally package your business to say, this is exactly what we offer. We make chatbots for customer service for businesses and make a lot of money 
just doing that. SaaS idea number six is a voice to article platform. We're at a place now where we command things with our voice more than ever. Siri and Alexa are now a part of our everyday life and this opens up a crazy opportunity for you. You can create a voice to written SaaS platform that allows users to write blogs, articles, ad copy, tweets, whatever using their voice and turns it into text for them. And you can even expand this to be done in different languages. So you could speak in English and have it written in Spanish. This can be pitched to organizations who will find this very resourceful. For example, imagine a school with blind students. This will be very useful for them. Or imagine targeting content creators who might want to speak in English, but have various transcripts of their videos in different languages. SAS idea number seven is a video or audio transcription platform. Now this is very similar to the last one, but this will be used with existing content. This is an application you'd offer to content creators who already have existing interviews, podcasts, that kind of thing. You could use Google Cloud Speech API to transcript it, or you can use OpenAI to summarize it into meeting notes or podcast highlights. This could easily be packaged up into an app and sold for an easy profit. SAS idea number eight is a celeb persona chatbot. People are infatuated by social media stars and celebrities. And in this day and age of social media, they only want to get closer to them. So this is what I would do if I was carrying this out. I'd reach out to a big creator, social media star, celebrity, and see if they want a chatbot made based on their interviews, podcasts, and any previous content they have online. On their website, they would then offer fans the chance to speak to an AI version of them that's based on anything that they've said previously. Obviously, you need rights and permissions in place. You can't just go out and make it and use celebrities' intellectual property. However, I think it's a good idea. And as gimmicky as it might sound, trust me, this is a big, big potential idea. So those are my eight suggestions for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And for making it this far, you know I always leave you with a little gem. A great way to get more ideas like this is to go on acquire.com, search for SaaS and see what's out there, what's in demand. And those that are under offer clearly means that not only are people making them, but there's a demand for them as well. All in all, I hope you found some value in this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.